هي في عوايا هي هيك كو لبا صدح السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مقعيق وسام يو ما انت وحربا انا نكاحد لو بوق عصب How are you guys today? ما في عنتا هين صبح وانا اكسن قلب وانا اكسن Wherever you guys are watching this um, So no well to the newest episode of the Ma'awis Mondays series. This is episode five, I believe, and what I'd like to do is actually give a, another content creator the opportunity to teach you guys today a little bit. So we're gonna borrow from this book by Mr. H. Jeremy Goforth, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit because I really love to use my platform really to give more of a, more of a reach to lots of people who are more qualified than me to be teaching and sharing and promoting the Somali language. We've written books and have courses and stuff. And you know, when I come across a podcast on Spotify or something for the Somali language, love to promote it. Like my Somali language teacher, Somali with Abzi. You can go and check him out as well, Brother Abdul Rahman. Um, and then all the authors and stuff like Liban Ahmed and um, you know, even Martin Orwin. And now we have this book by Jeremy Goforth as well. And so I'd, I'd really like to kind of give you guys a closer look at some of this stuff. I'll go and buy it and show you guys it. So. Um, so you guys can have a have a good understanding of how good the resource is. So before we get into an example of a sentence from this book that we'll break down together, I just want to say that this is a really good book for people who are interested in the military, interested in politics, interested in journalism in Somalia, because like all of the examples from this book are all taken from that kind of media. It's all like socio-political. So um, it's a really good book for that. It's not a course. It's not like a start to finish course, like in the beginning you know, wawil uh, fi'an, and then at the end, like more complex grammar. It, it's not like that, okay? This is like, it goes over stuff that if you're already at a basic level of Somali, to elevate your Somali to another level. It's more kind of that sort of stuff. Like it's lots of um, prepositions and, and articles and stuff like that. Like that's, if, if, we, if you look at the contents page, that's what all of it is. I mean, the whole contents page, we're learning about how to use ka, how to use o, how to use ku and e and io, is, la, kale, si, inta, Aya or ba, waha, wa, like all of these are, um, you know, like um, among those are focus markers and, um, yeah, focus markers, um, um, mood classifiers and prepositions and conjunctives and things like that, conjunctions and stuff like that. So um, it's all really useful stuff if you want to elevate your Somali to another level, if you already have basic Somali. So without further ado, Let's have a look at a sentence which um, which Mr. H. Goforth, um, uh, sorry, Mr. H. Jeremy Goforth has for us. So this first example, I'll read it for you and then we'll talk about the Somali of it. So what do we have? So, yeah, this is telling, this is what's to teach us about using kamid'a. Okay, so in the, in the chapter of ka, you're not just learning about ka. Okay, there's, there's lots of ways of using ka, including, you know, this first example is from kamid. Um, or saying kamid'a, another one katirsan, um, kaso, and using using ka with many other things, right? But this first example we're going to take, bukan nadu'usub saddan kamid'a warag lihda kalena wahawain. So I'll do like a breakdown of word for word what's going on here. So bukan are the patients. Okay, this is talking about patients coming into a hospital maybe. So bukan are patients, right? Bukan nada is a definite article on the end of the patients, usub. So usub means new. At the beginning of the lesson, I think I said bug usub, a, a new book. So um, bukan nada usub, good. Sondan, sondan is a way of saying thirty in Somali, and the actual word for three is sadeh. Sometimes you hear children say sadeh dan or something like that, because um, usually you just add a dan on the end, like um, um, you know, um, lehdan means sixty or, and, and things like that, right? So um. Yeah, but it's sobdan. Another one is, um, so if shan means five, okay, but you don't say shantan to say 50, it's, um, it's konton, okay, it's, it's just a different word for it, but, and that, that's the case with saddah as well, like saddah, we don't say saddah dan, we say sobdan uh, for 30. But he hasn't actually written the number 30 in there, I, I just know that. It's, it's um, you know, I, I think it's, I mean, I know that this is taken from articles that he's found online, so it makes sense that he's got the digit three zero. But just from a learning perspective, I would have liked it if he'd have put if he'd have put sodan in there because it helps us as people who don't know that thirty is sodan. Bukan bukan nada asub sodan kamid a. So um yeah so there are so okay from the patients we don't know how many patients there are. Sodan kamid a warag thirty of them. 30 among them, warag are men. So, rag is a way of saying niman, it's a way of saying men, right? Rag, good. Uh, Sobdan kamid ah warag, 30 of them are men. Lihda, 
Lech is six. Okay, it got once again. It's just a number six, the digit six. But 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 I know that six is Lech. Okay, so Lechda, six of them. Kale, Kale means others. Okay, means the other one. So I say Wahkale, Waharaba, and I'm Kushi. I go Wahkale. I I want to say something else to you. Okay, Wahkale, something else. So it's saying and six else, six of the others, right? Na. Okay, so this is something I make this mistake all the time. I'm so lazy with this, right? Na is a way of saying and when you're joining like two proper sentences together. I end up just saying io for everything. I just say io to say and all the time because I'm lazy and I need to fix that. But but this na, it's not kale na, that's not one word. It's kale and then the na, it's saying and and six of them are hawen. Wa hawen. Hawen is another word for saying women. Um, nag is a common word for, for, for women, but hawen is um, yeah another perfectly fine word. There's it's actually there's actually in a um, in an expression actually where they say um, hawen laan wa hoy laan hawen laan. If there's lacking a woman, wa hoy laan. It means that the home is lacking. Okay, it's like in English we have this expression that my mum always used to say that a woman makes a house a home. It's much like that. It's um, it's much like that. And um, yeah, the, the expression doesn't say naglaan or gurilaan. It doesn't say a you know lacking a woman is lacking a house. It's it says you know hawen laan wa hoy laan. Anyway, okay, so let me just run through this again just so we know what the word for word of it. So bukan nada asub. Um, Bukan nada asub, the patients new, okay, the new patients. Sundan kamid a, thirty of them warag, the new patients, thirty of them are men. Um, lehda kalena, the six others and six others, but the na means and, right? So, so let let me do like in order. So six others and wahawen are women, right? Meaning, and six others are women. So like a, a good English translation of it is, 30 of the new patients are men and six others are women. Okay, that's like the translation of it. So I really like this book. Um, it's a book that I'm adding to my little library of Somali language resources. I think that you guys should as well, because I think we should support people who are creating resources for our beloved Somali language. So um, I think you guys should go and buy it as well for how cheap books are like this. And I'd also like to end this video as well to saying directly to the camera, I've tweeted you, my friend. Mr. H, Jeremy Goforth, I've tweeted you. I want you to come on the YouTube channel and talk about your book as well and your experience learning the Somali language. It would be my pleasure to host you on my platform and give you more of a platform to talk about your resource and how we can make it reach more people who want to learn the Somali language as well. So just contact me, samofsomalia at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram or just reply to me on Twitter, however you like. Get in touch with me and uh, we'll have a conversation about our experiences learning the Somali language and hopefully get your book to more people who can benefit from it. So. That's it for now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.